Jessica. Hi, I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tones. Tones. Today we're going to be doing something that we've never done before on this channel, and that is a currently reading video, kind of slash, like maybe kind of a TBR as well. Yeah. What are you reading right now? Currently, I'm reading The Girl on the Train. The girl who is an alcoholic rides the same train every day and sees the same house with the same couple. But one day something happens and uh, the woman goes missing. And so then she kind of becomes involved, and it's just, yeah, it goes from there. I will say mm -hmm. that I'm kind of scared that I'm going to be able to predict what the twist is. Yeah. Because everybody's comparing it to Gone Girl. Yeah. So I'm kind of like with my guard up and not really falling for anything, you know. So I'm like, I kind of have some ideas going on, mm -hmm. and they're pretty different ones, but like... Ultimately, I feel like I'm probably going to be disappointed if it turns out that one of my ideas is right. <laughs> so, I'm I'm cautiously enjoying it so Hi. far. What are you currently reading? What are you am reading? <laughs> Hashtag am reading. A Dance with Dragons by George R.R. R. Martin. The fifth book um, and final book. No, it's not final. The last book that is out now. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get the next one this year. He says this year, but he also said next year. Or last year. That's what I meant. He said this year. Last year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm like uh, worried that I'm not going to finish it this month because uh, I'm just, it's going slow for me and I don't know why. I think part of it is the fact that I'm listening to a book that is just so heavy that like when I'm not listening to the book, I'm kind of like, I don't want to pick up a book yeah that is not like bunny rabbits you know what I'm saying yeah <laughs> I need bunny rabbits right now <laughs> yeah <laughs> um I'm really enjoying this a lot and I'm happy to, so happy to be back in this world and some really cool things are happening that I'm excited about um it's just taking me like longer than I would like it to um but whatever be all right. It's not about the race, right? No. It's not no. a race. No. It's not racing. <laughs> so, um, we are both currently listening to our book club book for this month. Yes. Which is American Psycho <laughs> by, by Brett, Brett Easton, Easton Ellis. Ellis. So, I'm just over halfway through. Yeah. And it is genuinely the most disturbing disgusting, creepy thing I've ever read. Do you think you're going to finish it? I almost didn't. Because I'm taking it in, like, little chunks at a time now. There is so... He... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's um, very disturbing. It's, like, there's, like, um... There are... Sex scenes... And the sex scenes are, like, pornographic and, like, really creepy because it's just devoid of any, like, empathy whatsoever. And the tone is the same as if he were murdering them. Yeah. And he, while they're doing it, he imagines decapitating them and then does decapitate them. Oh. And, like, chop off limbs and, like, does nasty things. Oh. It I, is disgusting. I've not gotten anywhere near so, that. So like, yet. I can, I could like, I can see like, okay, I'll talk about my thoughts when I'm done, because I, I have, I have like an analysis, but okay. it's separate from the nas, the content is just so hard to get through. Yeah. We decided to choose a book that came out the year that we were born. So, um, American Psycho came out in 1991, that was the year we were born, and we were like, yeah, that's popular, it's a cult classic movie, and... I've never seen it either. I have not seen it. And I've heard that it's not as hardcore as the book is, and I would be open to watching it, Yeah. I think, um, but not, I would never ever read it again. Yeah. Never. Will I read this book again? Yeah. If I just get to the point where it's too disturbing and I start having bad dreams, mm -hmm. I'm done. Yeah. Well, that happened to me. 
and you're still pushing through. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so let's talk about what we are planning on reading next. Happier things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, cur not currently. When I get home, I'm gonna read Introvert Doodles by Marie Marzi Wilson, <clears throat> and it's our book club graphic novel of the week month. I just read it yesterday, and I really enjoyed it. It's super cute. It's really cute. I don't know if you could call it a novel. Is it's it a novel? It's not, no. Each page is, I mean, sometimes it might carry on to the two pages, mm -hmm. but it's not anything consecutive. It's not yeah. like a storyline. It's just like each one is its own little, like, comic kind of. Yeah. But, I mean, it's really funny. Cool. I'm excited. it's really cute. Um, I need, I need this. <laughs> I need it because the books I'm reading are really... I really enjoyed Hard reading it yesterday. I was Good. like, yeah. yeah. It was that a nice, sense. uplifting little thing <laughs> to yeah. read. Awesome. So, we were sent a book from a author for a uh, review. Yes. The book is Can't Buy Forever by Susan LaFoon. LaFoon. And she signed the inside, she which I thought was really sweet. She did. She said, um, thank you, Susan LaFoon. She kindly sent us some paperback ones for yeah. our request. Yeah, we asked for two. Is the format we would like and yeah she was super super nice it's 1950s and she has like a hard childhood and then she goes to live with her aunt and there's this man who lives in an attic and they do they fall in love i don't know they go on an adventure there's like some kind of like connection there that mm. she feels like drawn to him i think yeah and she's, they're not quite sure why her and aunt runs like, a boarding house and that's yeah. where she like helps out there so and then they finally start to actually like um Talk more and bond more, but then there's something that's like Some involved with his that. past. Yeah, is so coming back to haunt them. It's very short. It's like 218 pages. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a uh, next week. We'll have our review. Yeah, and I like the cover. I do too. Yeah. A lot for <laughs> like the fifth time trying. Oh, to record. The first time was so good. It was so good, and we just it cut off right when we started talking about East oh. of Eden. And, um, it's gone now. Now I have to redo it. And yeah. it's, it's sad. It was better the first time around. It really was. We were like, Christina was like, how, how, how many, many page pages? numbers does yours have? And we both looked at the last page and we were like, oh, we just saw the last sentence. Read the last sentence. I was like, oh, I just saw the last sentence. And she was like, I mean, too. And it's small, but it was like. Impactful. <laughs> it was. But, uh. So. We don't know what happens. No. No. Just we, it could mean anything. It literally. And it did not have a name in it. No. So we don't know who they're talking about. Don't know. We'll see. When we buddy read it. Starting <laughs> in April. <laughs> April first. <laughs> with Samantha Leanne from Leanne's Lit. We uh we're gonna buddy read it. So East of Eden by John Steinbeck. I'm excited. We'll link Samantha's channel below, and also yeah. there's a video Amanda sent her talked about this book, and which said made that us want to read it. Yeah, and she yeah. said it was like one of her favorite reads of like the year. Mm -hmm. So we'll link her video down below as well, cause like it's very persuasive, indeed. So and she's, you said she's a, she's a lot smarter than we are. <laughs> yeah. Man, it was so much better the first time. We were so funny. <laughs> we were so funny. <laughs> When you play the Game of Tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. I'm Jess Game of Tomes on Twitter. And I'm Christina, G-O-T. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. I don't know the Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> hey.